How do we open up a coconut? Crack it. Crack it. What do you think is inside the coconut? What do you predict yeah. we would find in there? The PREPS program, that's the acronym, it stands for Preschool Pathways to Science, was developed beginning many years ago. In the um, Douglas Psychology Child Study Center classroom that we visited today, um, we were working with four and five-year-old children, and we were practicing making observations, and we were giving children the opportunity to think about how they use their senses to notice things about the world around them and, and features of the objects and events in the world around them and to start linking the descriptions that they can make about the world to particular senses. Well, this is real heavy. It's real heavy. Okay. How, how do you heavy? tell that something's heavy? What part of your body helps you? It? Kind of the natural activities of young children involve asking questions over and over and over again. So they're curious and they try things repeatedly. The difference is they're not naturals at knowing what a systematic observation is. We want the concepts, the language, the actions to become sort of a ball where everything stays, comes together and it's coherent. A number of years ago, the Jim Henson Company decided that they were very interested in developing a program for preschoolers about science. Um, we were asked to be the content advisor. Hey, scientists, it's me, Sid. I want to know how teeny tiny roly polies move. So my friends and I are going to investigate with science tools. Come explore with me, Sid the Science Kid. One thing that we do a lot of in the program, both the PREPS program and the, the Science Kid program that's based on it, um, is to give children the real science words for what it is that they're doing and seeing. And we use the word observation with children and we use the word prediction with children. What do you predict you're going to find? One thing you hope to have in the long run is that it, you demystify science because it's part of what you're used to learning about.